welcome all of you. Uh, today we're gathering here because uh, we got to witness, after long years of the concept that we call faith-based diplomacy, that when people of faith take their biblical support and turn it into political action, there's nothing we can't accomplish. And today we got to, uh, uh, two days ago we got to see the embassy move to Jerusalem, and today we got to see the Guatemalan embassy move to Jerusalem, and we know that many more are following because of the hard work. We are here at an event in the Knesset from the Knesset Christian Allies Caucus to celebrate uh, the biggest success in faith-based uh, diplomacy the world has ever seen. Uh, we always knew that if we could take people who have biblical support for Israel and turn into real political action, we can do things that are, are unheard of. And today we saw it with the embassy move uh, to Jerusalem from the United States Embassy, but also today uh, the Guatemalan Embassy uh, to Jerusalem. And we have with us our uh, members of our sister caucus, the Congressional uh, Israel as Caucus in Guatemala here to celebrate this together with Christian leaders from around the world because this is really their victory and, and we're all excited to be here trying to word, find the word overwhelming, exciting, glorious. All of these words are much smaller than what I can to express what I am feeling this week. When Israel is celebrating its 70th anniversary and we're seeing the world beginning to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of the people of Israel, the capital of the state of Israel, but mostly the biblical capital of God. We see all of these events have a real deep faithful uh, meaning and, and sentiment and therefore we do hope that we're actually beginning the next step, next step in the process of redemption and the, Jerusalem and the Temple Mount will become a world center of calling in the name of the one and only God and peace upon the world. God, God bless, God, God willing.